Hi. We are here again to meet Sam. But he looks quite worried. Hey Sam, what is the problem? You are in serious trouble because of some eggs? Tell us what happened. 342 eggs were collected from the farmhouse yesterday. 425 eggs were collected from the farmhouse today. 550 eggs were sent to the bakery. So, how many eggs are left behind? Well, well, relax, Sam. Let us look at the problem again. Let's divide the problem into two parts. Let's first find out how many eggs were collected in all. Now, how can we find out the total number of eggs collected? By addition or subtraction? Addition, of course. To find the total number of eggs collected, we have to add 342 and 425. Let's first write the two numbers in columns of hundreds, tens and ones and then add. We always begin adding from the ones column. Adding the digits in the ones column, we get 7 as the answer. Next, adding the digits in the tens column, we get 6 as the answer. Finally, adding the digits in the hundreds column, we get 7 as the answer. Adding 342 and 425, we get 767. So, the total number of eggs collected was 767. Now, let's come to the second part of the problem. Now, we know that 767 eggs were collected, out of which 550 were sent to the bakery. Now, how can we find the number of eggs left behind? By addition or subtraction? Subtraction is correct. To find the number of eggs left behind, we have to subtract 550 from 767. Let's first write the two numbers in columns of hundreds, tens and ones and subtract. Like in addition, we always begin subtracting from the ones column. Subtracting the digits in the ones column, we get 7 as the answer. Next, Subtracting the digits in the tens column, we get 1 as the answer. Finally, subtracting the digits in the hundreds column, we get 2 as the answer. Subtracting 550 from 767, we get 217. So, the number of eggs left behind is 217. Hey, no problem, Sam. We are always glad to help. And while Sam counts the eggs, you practice solving some more word problems. Good luck!